part of the whole rank sprint season that I have labeled Fujin Great Team. So I am on my Fujin, and apparently I thought very highly of the team. I will insert uh, images of my captain's build and the ship build as we speak, and then we'll get into the game. Now I am recording this while I'm processing another video, so I've reduced the settings a little bit. Hopefully it will work. I'm on my Fujin. We have a Kamikaze versus a Kamikaze R and a Gremiashi. So we have the advantage on detection. Oh, and we have a Furtaka versus a Krasny Cream, so I think we have an advantage there. So here we go. <coughs> I'll let the camera do its thing. If I have to, I will take over. In this situation on this map, I always, it, where I'm positioned, I go A. Hit engine boost. But as I recall, this game in my particular view is the kind of game you live for. Both sides fight it out. Both sides are coordinating and doing their best. I don't think we have any errant players going off on their own. Uh, and I don't think the enemy team does either. Both teams work together really well, at least from my observation. All right, heading into A. Creature Features telling everybody, let me take A, the rest support B. I am in concurrence. RDF, I'm pinging where it's showing. There's RDF showing the guy who's going into C. I'm slowing up at this point a little bit. I'm playing with the ship in the water and also probably feathering the throttle a little bit and capping. Now I can push on to B. Swinging the guns around to the right side. Looking at the team. And there we go. Enemy, com enemy kamikaze R. I am popping smoke for the cruiser. If he pushes up, I hope he pushes up the Furataka. I tell him, there's smoke, please use it, even if I misspell it. I tell him to push up. Our kamikaze has pop smoke as well, defensively. And is backing out of B. I'm trying to spot for the team. Some rounds come in intended for him that almost get me. Which would have been interesting on the other end, how they would have figured that. I'm setting up to torp the smoke. Torpedo's coming in. Enemy Gremiashi is going to push in. Oh, he's just off of B. The enemy Kamikaze has also backed out, so we're capping. I'm calling that that guy needs to die, the Gremi. Kamikaze is about to take Torps. He takes one, avoids the other. He is down flooding. He's down to 288 points. So me and him are going to try... This is one of those things. We're not really talking to each other, but we do coordinate pretty well. Torp's coming in. I'm backing up. He's going to get hemmed in by those two. Enemy Kamikaze just took a bad hit. And will our Kamikaze live? He does the beats. We have capped B and are contesting their advance. I have a minute left on my smoke being available.
getting set up. I'm going to dump some torps when they come up on that gap, probably, just for denial. Kamikaze pops his torps. We are just spamming that smoke and that gap. Bring it around. I'm detected. That's the Gremmy. I have 40 seconds. I'm going to go guns. I'll probably hit the engine boost. Yep. To make his firing solution a little more complicated. Turn off. He misses. Enemy Kamikaze. I repair. Get rounds out. Most of their team is not in a good firing position. I am now no longer detected. I'm going to dump some denial torps in case the kamikaze comes back. There are his torpedoes, but no dice. And I'm going to back into B just in case they get somebody in there to cap. But at this point I think you can see this is where... This is a good battle. This is the kind of battle that you hope for. So far, everybody is holding together on both sides. I'm popping smoke for the cruisers and the battleships. And possibly for our kamikaze to give him cover to move up into. I'm calling where detection is. There's the Gremmy. Torpedo's coming out from the kamikaze. I'm hoping he'll push up into my smoke. Oh, our fur attack is about to take torps and goes down. Enemy gets the first kill. So now we are down. Coming around. I know the kamikaze was over there. RDF is saying at about 2 o'clock. That could be the kami. That could be the gremi. Uh, I put out that that kamikaze might flank. He might come down like the three line and get around behind. Torps out on the Julio just in case he drives into them. Detect it. So what is that? Ooh, kamikaze. Time to go gunboat. Rounds out. Kamikaze down. He takes out my engines, but I repair. Julio de Cesare is firing on me. I'm taking rounds from the Gremi. Our kamikaze is pushing up and popping smoke for me. Look at that. Now that is teamwork. I get a torp into the Cesare. He's flooding. He has 66 points left. I give a thanks and the Cesare goes down to the Koenig. I give a thanks to the kamikaze. Who, despite being down to 288 hit points, is not giving up and is absolutely playing perfectly. We haven't tried to push through B. I tell him to use that smoke to the kamikaze and I will spot. But we're not trying to push. We are picking them off as they're coming in. Both sides doing exchanges of fire. Torps out on the smoke where the Grimey probably is. Texas is pushing up. Now I'm going to cautiously push up a little bit. Torps coming in. Texas is going to eat at least one. Waiting for my torpedoes to reload. One goes into the Texas. And there's the Gremmy. And I am going to go guns. We lose the Texas. So I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. I'm not detected. Because the Gremmy is behind the island. And then... I'm going to dump torps and pop smoke, I believe. Because that's what I would do. Oh, I'm going guns. I have it. There we go. There's the smoke. Turn the Gremmy off. Gremmy's taking rounds. Now we are... Both teams are evenly split, but we're racking up points because we've got both caps. RDF showing where the Gremmy is. Gremmy is at six clicks. And now, now is the time to push. Our kamikaze is going into the channel, possibly looking at the October Revolution. He's at seven clicks. Looks like their cruiser might be trying to flank the Krasny Krim. 
looking at the Gremmy, going guns. I've dumped all my torps. Somebody else realizes, yeah, that's the guy to shoot at. We can take him down, I think a round or two. Rounds out, varying the throttle, varying the heading. Again, I've turned him off, which, you know, that's what you want to do. But I've pushed him off. Torp's going in on the October. Taking rounds from the Krasny Cream. One Torp in and flooding on the enemy battleship. Rounds from coming in from the Krasny. And now our low health kamikaze has worked his way down the 8 line behind the enemy and is spotting all of them and probably causing a little panic, particularly if he's launching torpedoes, which I see some right there. Julio is taking rounds and turning off wisely. I'm going to come back around, hopefully not get hit by any fire that's intended for him. Looks like our kamikaze got something into the Congo. More torps going in. Two more into the Congo. Congo is down to 2,500 health. He's trying to repair now. I'm throwing torps out on him as well. I have 50 seconds on smoke. And he is down. Taken out by the Julio Cesare. Still commanding B. We have 20 points to go, 18, 16. Now it's time for a little free-for-all. Enemies down to a destroyer and a battleship. And that is a win. And that, that was a good team. That's the kind of team you hope for.